As long as this is a decent sized duel, this would be the last one of uh, this video. Oh, we actually get to go first, which you kind of don't want to do. And uh, GBs, I'm really tempted to set this. You know what I am? You know why? Because I do have all of these three. So we're going to set all three of these because a localized true need is a decent card. Um, set a, sort of like a cold rave. And so what we can do next turn is we can definitely uh, go into Noxious, which I, okay, well that's, oh, no way. What's going on here? I'm not playing AI. Please. Oh no, I know what I'm playing. It's Lunar Knights. It has to be Lunar Knights because literally they don't play nobody nobody's playing tinky besides zodiac zoo and i know zoo is not being played right now so this has to be unequivocally luna knights and no it's literally wow okay well let's see what's going on here because as far as i know th th this stuff is okay well that's fine okay that's really fine okay so we're going to waste this uh no we're, we're gonna let him get that off because I, I i don't think i care at all about what's going on with that i mean that's a whip tail so unless he links i feel like that's the only thing we should actually be worried about and um for him to link he needs to go like so actually uh, should we just stop? Yeah, we should just stop this right here. I, I don't I even want to see the what else is going on here. Don't want to see nothing else going on. Just want to go ahead and get rid of that. Um, so yeah, he's definitely setting multiple back row, which is completely fine because if we top deck another GB, we're all right. That's not cool. It's okay though. We could we can do some things though. So let's localize Trunade. Let's see what's going to happen here. You know what? We should also be playing mistake. Okay. Well, that's that. This makes me even better. That this makes it even better. What I'm about to do to you. Um, I guess he thought that he was about to be playing some uh, some uh, some. Yeah. I don't even know why he plans it yet. To be honest with you, but yes, I think he's about to play. Do you about to try to play some spirals? Um, uh, Ash Blossom is very good in his deck. I just like realized that. Uh, does this tag out? Oh, thank God. Thank God this thing tags well. Does this at least gain the attack? Doesn't. Okay, so we can just do that. Oh my God. You know what's going to hurt real bad? Ash Blossom really hurts. Why are you playing Mistake in Zodiac? Okay, I'm, I'm not. I'm just, let me just stop questioning people. Oh God. Ash Blossom really hurts this deck. Yeah, this deck is completely dead, bro. Like really dead. Um, I, I don't even know if I even want to like literally do like those ogre kills the, the, Jesus Christ this deck is power creeps <laughs> This deck is power creeped to death Jesus Christ. It's not even funny This is not even funny this deck is literally like look I like This deck is power creep to hell right now. Oh Jesus and I I did that on accident. I didn't really do it on accident, but you guys get my drift. This deck is really power creep, and it's not even funny. I just like noticed that, and I know what you guys, you probably are probably already like all seen that, like how bad this deck is, literally because of like Ash Blossom and Ghost Ogre and shit like that. But man, I did not see that. I really didn't see that. I really didn't see how bad this deck was. Um, well, at least we can top deck a GB and do some damage. Nope, we can't do any damage. But hey, Darius is fine with me. I can attack with a Darius. We can get right on through. Go ahead and take that damage, young man. And we're going to tag out and struggling battle. You know that you can't do that, though, huh? So you can do like this and then change struggling battle and then banish all of his cards, which we should probably put in his deck, which I am going to do. That actually seems pretty good. Does that not? Does that not seem really good, folks? Uh, man, see that just that just hurts the whole deck. So you had that the whole time. It's okay. We're gonna we're not gonna set the Book of Moon. I feel like Book of Moon is pretty decent to keep in our hands, 
and I feel like he just has a whole bunch of search cards that he can't activate. So we're not going to pop the mistake because it seems like it's stopping a lot of his plays. Um, and I know what I'm going to draw now. I'm going to draw literally Proving Ground and not be able to use it. Well, there's a tip. What the fuck was that? What was that? Did it literally just show my test tiger to him? Uh, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping, but yeah, this is not. Uh, what do you play? Don't tell me you play like Call of the Hundred and back to the front and stuff. Um, but yeah, this deck is it, it's not really. It doesn't take that much to clear back row. The um, only thing you really have to worry about is you know chainable back row, which a lot of people aren't playing. I mean, pretty sure he's gonna have strike and stuff like that. So what gonna do is gonna normal summon an attack. You keep attacking. Because if he strikes, they're still they just go right back to the deck. So that means you know he doesn't really benefit from it, I guess. If that's what you want to call it. You're just paying 1500 What do you do? I would draw this card when I literally have one what's the name in the graveyard. Come on, deck. Draw me a how many monsters did we play? Uh let me see. Two, four, six, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, we play 13. Technically, we play 15 with the Proving Ground. Uh, I mean, 15 monsters are still in the deck, so. Come on, man, Yu Gi Oh! Pro. This is just boring. Why are you playing this deck? There we Okay, well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> but there we go. That's fine. Because we can literally drop it. Probably should have set the Book of Moon. But there's no Drancia, so we don't fear anything. And then with this, we can possibly send Augustus. Yeah, we're definitely sending Augustus with this card. There we go. There's the there's a zoo zoo. There's a zoo. Um, let's let's hopefully he just goes into an attack mode because there's not really too much else he could do. I mean, he could like I said, he can do all this, you know, zoo stuff. But like I said, Drancy is banned. Um, oh, now that kind of hurts. That kind of Tiger Mortar actually kind of hurts if he, well, don't understand why he did that. But, um, Jesus Christ. While, while this, Jesus, man, this, this is, that's a pretty good card. Um, so yeah, we can definitely clear, clean his whole board. Um, maybe he's trying to just go in a Boro Boro or something. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> okay, so let me see what he's going to get back. Probably going to get back Thoroughblade or Whiptail. Okay, I possibly would have got back the Whiptail. Um, let's hope that he doesn't have a Solid Strike set. <laughs> that's going to be a kind of a problem. <clears throat> Wait, what does the link say um, to the end of the damage step? Ah, oh, that sucks. It should probably it, you know what it should have said that when this card attacks, your opponent cannot activate cards for the rest of the battle phase. That would have been really, really good. But I think people would. What does Rocket Hand do? Oh, see, this is the Drancia stuff. Okay, Garrett, you can send the equip cards you gave you. Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, see, that's the Drancia. Okay, somebody told me about this. Somebody literally told me about this. So, um, that's, that's, that's fine. So, let me see. When your opponent declares a direct attack, you express them this card. If you do, turn and proceed to damage. Card. This card cannot be struck by that battle. Okay, so what I can do, <clears throat> hopefully he attacks with this. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate and chain the Quaken. So then it books these two, and I express on this and dump, and then hopefully that works. I feel like he's gonna have a strike or something set, because then this would lose the target, right? And I'm pretty sure this is like during either player's turn, so I don't, I don't even think I can stop it with anything. <clears throat> so let's see, I, dude, you literally taking so much time. Jesus, but there we go. Come on, man. Just play the game. Um, 
Yeah, probably should have set the book. So yeah, let's do this. Let's all chain activate. See if we get striked here. See if we get striked here, and then we're gonna chain the quaking. So we can't use this to pop my cards. There we go. Bam. We can use that. Just probably gonna get striked or something. I'm gonna ash blossom that right now. Wait, did we play Solomon Strike? We sure do. We played one. Wow, that is garbage. I don't know what happened to my set. Oh no, there's one. <laughs> I was about to say I'm a, a garbage person. I was literally gonna say, yeah, that that's pretty bad. That's really bad. Okay, so we can do damage, but it depends. Uh, if we draw another what's the name, we're good. If we draw another one, okay, yeah, that's 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 okay. Now that's really good. So what I can do, <clears throat> I can special him this test tiger. He activates his test tiger. You guys know we're going into Darius. Um, hopefully he doesn't have a strike here. Um, matter of fact, we can just go best Yari to bait out his back row. But no, I want to go. I want to go Darius. And the reason I want to go Darius is because I want to go into the link and attack. target that because if in case he has something it doesn't look like he's gonna stop it so let's go ahead and go into the link okay yeah this literally can't activate so let's just go ahead and we quakened right so this can't even flip we're gonna attack over this can't activate nothing so during the end of the battle phase we can get bestiary and Darius and then he can't Oh my god, this is going to hurt if it's a strike. Oh, he doesn't have a strike. So we're going to get Bestiari, and we're going to get... Um, why, why did I know? Like the, How did I know that that was going to happen? Oh, there we go. We can just do that, huh? So we can literally get Bestiari and Augustus. And then we can order the chain links. Then pop that, and then we can chain Augustus. So now, um, even if this is something like strike... Nothing's gonna happen, and then we can special summon Darius. And then, since uh, this is old school, um, it's literally. What do you do? What do you do? Okay, well we can't use any of those effects. But well, since this is uh, back in the day, <laughs> this is literally before um, you could. Uh, this is before you can do. Uh, before everything didn't miss timing so i mean best yard doesn't miss timing but darius does so there's an unending nightmare i don't know what that was supposed to do and then now what we can do is we can just set this and just feel comfortable with him going to his turn because then you know next turn we can just you know clear his board again and then i feel like that's enough but there's always that chance that he's going to top deck a regeki or something of the case because he okay well ram ram is not a problem he can't flip quaking he can't flip so oh i don't know what the hell just happened just now hopefully you guys didn't see that but yeah i, I don't i don't know what he was trying to do there oh there's the surrender all right let's go check the deck all right folks so yeah you're probably only gonna be seeing half the video since uh, uh <laughs> half of it was like 40 minutes i mean it was like 24 minutes long and I know you guys don't want to see. I mean, that's how GB duels go. But we're only going to probably get the last duel. The first two duels wasn't really too much. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. I believe I lost the first duel and the second duel. Dude quit. So, yeah. Um, one thing I do want to do is add another Augustus and possibly triple out on GB. So, we can uh, we can cut a Gladiator's Return. We definitely cut a Localized Trunade because we draw those way too much. All right. So, yeah. Be right back. Stay tuned for another duel. Be right back, man.